What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in beautiful, south, hot, humid, but still dry, South Georgia. Hey, hope y'all are having a great day, man. Um, so this is kind of a follow-up to the video I made yesterday about uh, losing the one customer and, and maybe another one. Lost a job. I don't know if I lose the whole customer. Uh, which I said yesterday is fine. If you haven't watched that video, it's only, I don't know, probably maybe six minutes long or something. You can go back to the last video, check it out. So, y'all tell I ain't got work clothes on today. Um, my wife and I went today and uh, picked out the flooring for the house. I don't have a piece of it, but anyway. Um, I don't have a piece of it with me. I got some down at the house. So, we got that. Uh, in fact, I need to call the guy and get him to go ahead and order it. Uh, I'll do that when I get back to the house. But, this, like I said, it's kind of a follow-up on the video yesterday. Uh, yesterday evening, I had a guy stop by the house, uh, a church down here, uh, wanting a quote on trimming the hedges, cutting the grass. Uh, now, I have given them, I gave them a quote before, but it was some other folks in the church, I think, that I gave it to. There's another guy asking now. Apparently, the guy that's doing it has just got more work than he can do, and it's gotten neglected. That's the story I'm hearing, and I could believe that, um, you know, as bad as you hate to neglect anything with the amount of rain that we've had and stuff. Uh, the, apparently this guy got about 100 properties, so I was told, I don't know him, I don't know. And somebody quit on him. Um, yeah, you're not gonna, uh, the kind of properties we do around here, generally speaking, you're not gonna do 100 a week of those by yourself. <laughs> there ain't no way. There ain't no way you're doing 20 of them a day. Uh, I don't know that we've ever did 20 properties in a day with the full crew. We may have, and I'm talking two trucks, two trailers, five guys. Uh, now, we're not cutting half acre properties. So. But anyway, long story short, no, short story long. That's the way I like to tell them. Short story long. There you go. Uh, I've already got another quote to potentially fill the spot that was vacated. Just like that. Matter of not even an hour before the guy stopped by after I made that video yesterday. So, um, now, Will you get? Will I get this job? Who knows? Okay. Uh, it will not be a super, super profitable job. And the reason I say that is because, you know, usually on a church, uh, I go pretty easy. Um, I mean, I'm not giving it away because I, you know, I'm, I'm just not. But... Man, this is Bahia City right here, boy. Bahia City. And uh, I'm just going to kind of circle around here. I already gave them a quote on just cutting the property uh, back, like I said, last year. And they had somebody else do it, I guess. Uh, and that's okay. They want this stuff done for Sunday, I think. Man, look at that. Them lower petlums. Them lower pedlums, little boxwoods on the front, lower pedlums. Which the good thing about them lower pedlums, man, they trim up fast. Boxwoods, lower pedlums. Uh, I always forget what you call those. Those are a little dense. Uh, is that what you call a, a it's some kind of holly, Yupon or something like that? Thing. Anyway, y'all know I ain't a plant guy. I ain't got to keep telling y'all that. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, bro. Man. That's some trimming, ain't it? Huh? That's some trimming right there, especially in this doggone temperature out here. That's some trimming, brother. And looks like they got them kind of rounded. Got some dead spots in them. Laura Pedlums look good. Laura Pedlums are a lot of maintenance, but you know, I may plant some of them at my new property. They are pretty plant. Pretty shrub. I don't know if they want anything done with that rose bush. Maybe get it off the building. Man, I'm riding around out here like I know what I'm doing. See, this back here ain't been cut in a while. All right, now there's one gate right there. Ugh. But there's a man gate. I need to get out and measure that gate. I need to get out and measure that just to make sure my more will go in there. I think it will. Oh yeah, we got about 68 inches. So that's no problem. Uh, not really a whole lot of trimming at this property and I can tell they hadn't done it recently. But you can look at some of these places and tell that they've sprayed because when you spray, you don't have grass come back. You have weeds. Somebody at some point did some spraying. You can tell up around the back of the building, around the side of the building too, they've sprayed. But, man, it's so hot, I don't even want to get out and look at this stuff, man. <laughs> now, what do I do on a job like this? How do I figure it? All right, so here's what I do. I look at this right here, down this side, and I say, you know what? That'll take me an hour to trim up and clean up. You know. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So. You know, I, in other words, what I'm saying, I look at sections. So, if you wanted to say, you know, uh, you know 45 minutes because there's a lot of little ones in there them little ones will be time consuming so if you say 45 minutes you know 45 minutes what you at now you had an hour and a half you take down this side this side in the front maybe another 45 the other side front another 45 you know you at you at three all your clean up you know probably around about four hours now you do it however you want some people count per bush I used to go like this I'd count these little these little boxwoods I go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen three dollars a bush okay thirty nine dollars right that's how I used to do it and then the only problem with that is let me show you here's the reason here's the reason i started just doing sections because right here i'd probably say that's a five dollar bush and maybe that's a seven dollar and then your bigger ones would be a ten dollar so you got three five seven get a little bit bigger ten right those are you can tell the difference between those but then when you get a whole section like that you don't have no bushes to count so i just look at it and go okay uh and basically, here's what here's what I'd figure for this job. We're just gonna keep it simple, all right? I figure uh, two hours, an hour and a half for for this building, and two and a half hours for that building. So I figure, I figure four hours on the hedges. Um, <laughs> so that's what I that's what I'd be billing out here is four hours to trim the hedges now you know and I, I feel you know you can trim them faster than that but now you say man that's, that's a that's a long time you can trim them faster than that but you ain't just trimming them you're trimming them and getting up all the clippings and see there ain't much weed eating at all around here and what we're gonna do is cut down to this ditch now last time I quoted it I think I quoted this is the church's property all the way to the field down here i think i i think i quoted it all the way down here i don't know 
but as far as that goes I get on Google Maps I'm gonna map out the property I got a formula what I charge per acre on a simple cut that's a simple cut uh, it's a double cut because of all the Bahia there will be places at that one that you probably had to cut as dry as it is right now that area that they drive on all the time you're gonna cut that three times but now we'll cut it low we'll probably cut down like two inches because it's relatively flat and most of your churches especially they want you to get that stuff cut down low enough on Friday or Saturday because that's when they prefer to get cut so that on Sunday you don't have them little stems coming back up already uh, and there is a difference between doing it at two and a half and, and two uh, I've been able to tell that at O'Quinn so so anyway I'm on a uh, just about four miles from the house just took me a minute run down there and looked at it uh, I'm gonna send the pastor a message and uh, and just kind of go from there you know and if they want to do it that's great if they don't want to do it that's great too uh, but I do think there's will probably be at least for the rest of the summer you know be reoccurring work as far as the lawns considered because again the guy that's doing the lawn is supposed to take care of the hedges and all that but he's not even getting the lawn cut so anyway I'm gonna follow up with them uh, so maybe that helps some y'all out on two fronts it's just saying number one as I said yesterday you know when when you lose a customer it opens up the opportunity I mean, I get this job, and again, if I don't, it's fine. I don't need it. I don't need to take on any more work, but something that's four miles from the house, something that's probably, I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing somewhere in the neighborhood of an acre and a half to two acres as far as cutting, uh, those are properties that we like to do. And so I'm going to go ahead and put a price in on it. So that's one thing, you know, when you, you know, when you, you lose one, there's always other opportunities. And number two, this might just help y'all when you bid. Because look, I don't care if you count bushes and you do $3 a bush, $5 a bush, $7 a bush, $10 a bush, $15 for a real big one. That's fine. Whatever works for you. But at the end of the day, even if you're counting bushes, what you're trying to figure out is I'm going to be on this job X amount of hours. My labor rate is X dollars per hour. This is what I need to make. So... You know and if you're new to trimming I remember when I if I walked up on a job like that man it would scare me to death because at the time I hadn't did enough trimming I didn't know if that was gonna take three hours or eight hours I really didn't I didn't know the difference I, I couldn't I couldn't guess within you know two hours of how long a project was gonna take and to be honest, now when I look at something and I think, well, that's probably three hours, uh, I usually, just to be safe, I go ahead and say four hours. So a lot of times, I guess what I'm saying is this, a lot of times what you think of is in terms of not minutes and sometimes not even hours. I look at a project like that and I say, okay, that's going to be a half a day. I'm going to be here a half a day. What I make a day divided by two. See what I'm saying? That's not count cut now. That's just that's just landscape stuff, and uh, and that's how I figure it out. So, you know, those are just some different tools that you can put in your toolbox. Maybe it helps somebody. Maybe you got a better way figured out than I do, and you go, oh, what's this idiot talking about? That's okay too. It don't matter. I'm not mad. <laughs> anyway, hey, appreciate you taking time to watch the video, and uh, my prayer for you is always the same. That the Lord might richly bless you and that you might sell of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great day.